You have probably seen pretty images on the computer like the Mandelbrot set or the Julia set. But what are they and how are they created? In this video, I will first explain the Julia set because you need to understand this before I can explain the Mandelbrot set. In my previous videos, I talked about fractals and complex numbers in the complex plane. You need to understand this before you go on to the Julia set. In the complex plane, you can perform operations with complex numbers as with real numbers. One interesting operation is the fu function. A function is simply a rule dictating what happens to a given value that is entered into the function. So if you enter a value, it would end up somewhere else in the complex plane. So for example, if your function f of z is equal to z squared, and z is some complex number, it means that the, this value that you put in gets squared by the function. So if you put in the real number 2, 2 is also a complex number because you can also write it as 2 plus 0 i. So the function of 2 is equal to 2 squared, which is 4. Now we put 4 back into the function. So the function of 4 is equal to 4 squared, which is 16. And if you keep doing this again and again, the number gets higher and higher until it approaches infinity. Each step is called an iteration. You can also enter a value smaller than 1 in the function f of z is equal to z squared. You can see that the value becomes smaller and smaller until it approaches 0. For example, the function of 0 0.2 is equal to 0 0.2 squared, which is 0 0.04. Now we put 4 back into the function, the function of 4, 0.04 is equal to 0.04 squared, which is 0.0016. Um, if you enter a different value for z, for example, you add an imaginary component, you get the more interesting results. And the value may spiral away instead of just staying in a straight line on the real uh, axis. Something really interesting happens in, to the value if you change the function slightly. If, instead of just squaring it, you now add another complex number, the function becomes f of z is equal to z squared plus c. And c is not a complex number. And this is the function of the Julia set. To make a Julia set, we want to know what happens to every point in the complex plane. And if you put it through the function repeatedly. You can't do this by hand. You need a computer and, and there are special programs that perform millions of calculations needed to make the Julia set. I'll have to show you this on the computer. This is the complex plane with a Julia set. Every point on the complex plane has been put through the function f of z is equal to z squared plus c. And the c value for this Julia set is minus 0 0.7 plus 0 0.28i. Now I'll turn off the coordinate grid so I can show you the calculation path. You know that the origin is in the center. Here you can see the calculation path. Each line is a calculation of the function and is called an iteration. A point can either become stuck in a loop or escape to infinity under the function. If a point gets stuck, we call it bounded and then we color it black. If the point escapes to infinity, we give it a color, depending on how fast it escapes to infinity. 
So in typical Julia images, points that escape quickly are colored blue, and points that escape slower may be colored green, yellow, orange or red. This gives you the typical rainbow of the colors of the Julia set. You can see there is an infinite number of Julia sets, because every time you add a different value for C, the set becomes different. Now I'll show you a few other Julia sets. For example, if I put in the C value, minus 0 0.7, plus 0 0.3i, you see that the Julia set has no black regions. This means that all points in this Julia set escape to infinity. Now if I put in the C value, minus 0 0.1, minus 0 0.4i, This Julia set has a lot of black. This means that the, all the black points stay bounded. And when they're blue, they escape to infinity really quickly. And there's nothing in between. If I now put in the C value, 0 0.4, minus 0 0.4i. In this Julia set, there is no black at all. As I said, this means that all the points escape to infinity. Now I'll show you one other Julia set. Minus 0 0.5 plus 0 0.6i. You can see that Julia sets are fractals. You can zoom in infinitely and keep seeing the same pattern. In my next video, I will explain how all those Julia sets form the Mandelbrot set.